I'm John Alex, I'm 22, I'm from London. And I love football. I'm at my best when I'm running with the ball. I love taking players and I love beating them. Um, as a footballer, I think my best attribute is probably my vision. I feel like I can pick out a pass that people don't see, that can get that pass to them, to their feet. Alex's performance speaks for itself. He's a, he's a very talented and, and a very good footballer for this level. And uh, he had a very good game today in, in the centre of the pitch. He was uh, strong, he was physical, he was winning the ball, he was stringing passes together, a, a great asset to the team. One of the star players of the team. Um, yeah, and take it to us. Um, do I think my parents know? On my dad's side, definitely not. I don't feel like we have that kind of relationship where he knows my life in that kind of sense. He just knows me for just living in the house and playing football and that kind of stuff. Be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. So I honestly think I haven't told my parents that I'm bisexual because I genuinely feel like ever since I kind of had a thing for guys or started liking guys, um, I've always had this vision and this dream where I just want to come out with like a boyfriend and someone I love. I want to be like fully certain and let my parents know that like, yes, I'm out, I like guys and I'm with someone and it's not like a phase or like, this is actually real. My dad was a professional football player. Uh, he was a professional football player in Colombia. He's the one that inspired me to pursue or try and pursue a career in football. Uh, so I was playing at a tournament for Epson Eagles and Fulham scouts were along there and they picked me up and just started training with them. I was literally just amazed with the facilities. Um, I was there for a year and about Eight months in, I had a horrible injury where I messed up my ankle in one game and after the year I, I got released and I just remember crying. I remember looking at my dad and my dad was pretty much speechless. I think he couldn't believe it as well. So yeah, I think for both of us it was just a, a sad moment. I would describe my relationship with my family as uh, one which can be a bit difficult. When I was young, I didn't really have the best of relationships with my dad. Sometimes I'll just see like the way my dad and my mom were and stuff like that, and it kind of angered me. And I kind of just like repelled from my parents and kind of just did my own thing and focused about myself. And now like being uh, 22, it's more like a thing where I'm not really that kind of bothered about no, like my relationship with them. We are London Titans. Uh, we're London Titans FC, we're based in London and we are an LGBT friendly football team for people in the London area that want to play football uh, without any fear of judgement. We don't discriminate on ability, we welcome all players uh, of any sex, of any age, of any race. Some are very new to the game, some play, have come from academies, some play county football. Some of these players have never even played football before. Anyone of any ability can come along and find someone who is kind of of the same level that they are and enjoy football. Uh, I joined London Titans about two and a half years ago. Uh, found about about at the London Pride Parade, saw the teams marching and decided to uh, to join. Moving to London is sort of difficult to get a group of friends and I think a lot of the guys here have sort of moved to London and kind of found a family in the club. 
Alex joined the club when we moved from Sunday uh, morning football over to Saturday FA affiliated football. It was a step up in ability for us and he really helped us cement our position in the league. It's happened more than once that a couple of lads have kind of come to me or sent me messages after joining the club and said that being a part of Titans has helped them come out to their family or to their friends or to their colleagues. And that's such a massive thing that we can actually provide that platform that they feel comfortable to do it. Yeah, we've uh, suffered homophobia quite a bit before. We played this one team and they, they spat in my face, they threatened to stab me. They were calling us all sorts of names like throughout the whole game. And the ridiculous thing is, they were actually better than we were, but we beat them because they were so busy concentrating on the fact that we were gay that we, we ended up winning 3-2 and they had to go home and tell their mates they lost to a bunch of gays. So, yeah, that was good for, good for them. There's a reason why there's nobody that's openly out in professional football in this country. A multitude of reasons why they won't come out at the moment. I think you'll find the agents might have something to say as well. But if you think about it, percentage of professional footballers that get another contract is very low. It's a very, very tough dog-eat-dog -dog environment. So you're hardly likely to throw in another curveball in, in, into this to cause you, maybe cause yourself problems. Now there is so much pressure and there's so much kind of media attention on actually pushing someone to come out. You, you, I, I think you actually find that the first person that comes out won't actually come out. I think you might find it'll end up being an academy boy, someone that was already identified as gay by the time he was 14, 15, 16, his football club already know, people already know, and he just happens to push into the first team and he's already there and it won't be such a big deal. I think that's what you'll find will happen. Uh, to be honest with like the whole homophobia and football thing, I think it definitely has improved. But in 10 years, I do think it's definitely going to get better. It's more awareness. People are speaking about it. Uh, so since joining the Titans, um, I have really come to terms with my sexuality. Um, I haven't to this day told my parents, but since joining the Titans and being involved with so many people and knowing people's stories, I do feel like when the time is right for me, I'll feel very comfortable and happy to tell them. I see these people every week and it's just a, a great time. and. I'm really glad that I made that decision. And to be honest, I don't look back. I think there's so much more room for improvement. Uh, so in the future, I'm just gonna focus with myself, try and get better, fitter, more agile, and just see where it takes me. I don't have any set agendas or, yeah, just carry on playing football and see where it goes from there.